Hi, this video will demo the Flashcard Lab mobile app where you can convert your Google Sheets to customized flashcards for studying anything on the go. If this is your first time signing in, you'll have to agree to allow some permissions for the app to function properly. The app needs to be able to see and edit your spreadsheet files. Once you've signed in, you'll need to create a Google Sheet using the Flashcard Lab app. You can do that by tapping this button here or by tapping the three dots and then tapping Create New Sheet. Name the sheet whatever you want. I'm going to name it My Flashcards. And just for this demo, I'm going to check the Populate with Sample Data option. When you do this, you'll add your own study material to the newly created Google Sheet with your computer or phone. Tap Create and this will make a new Google Sheet file in your Google Drive. Just a quick note on how to format your Google Sheet so that it works with Flashcard Lab. All your spreadsheet files should follow this format with the first row being the headers. The first column should be prompts or what is on the front of the card. The second column should list all the answers or what should be on the back of the card. The next four columns are optional and customizable. By default, list any synonyms in the third column and any mnemonics or hints in the fourth to help you remember the answer. The fifth column is for any images or diagrams you want to test. I'll talk about that more later. The final column is a placeholder for space repetition study mode. You don't ever have to update or edit this column. Now back to the app. I've selected the sheet I just created named My Flashcards. If at any time you need to refresh the spreadsheets list here, just tap on the three dots at the top right and tap Refresh Lists. Next, tap Start Review. Now I have to select the sheet in the file I want to review. I'm going to select Sheet 1 and tap Start Reviewing. Flashcard Lab will randomize the order of the cards shown to me as I review the material. If I remember the word, I simply tap Next. If a word has a mnemonic, I can tap Show Mnemonic to give myself a clue. Then if I really don't know, I can tap Flip Card to review the answer on the back of the card. At the very end of the test, Flashcard Lab will show how I did and list all the cards I was unsure about. Then I can tap OK and start reviewing again. Great, now I want to show some study modes this app has that can enhance your learning. Tap on the three dots at the top right and go to Settings. There are two options here. One is to turn on reverse study mode where you can use your answers as prompts. And the second is space repetition study mode. Space repetition study is a method of learning that involves reviewing information in varying time intervals depending on how well you know the information. It's more efficient and is supposed to improve retention. To turn it on, just tap the checkbox. This will allow you to set the intervals for space repetition. The intervals are just set days between reviews corresponding to how well you know certain flashcards. For example, the hardest cards should be reviewed the most often with a zero day interval. The next hardest cards should be reviewed every day and the next hardest every two days and so on. I'm going to tap save and quickly walk through how space repetition works. I'm going to select a spreadsheet file, select a sheet and start reviewing again. You'll study the same way as before except now before you move to the next flashcard, you'll be asked to rate the difficulty of the current card. There are three options. Tap hard if you aren't very familiar or want to study this card frequently. This will categorize the card to be the most difficult and review the most frequently as defined by your interval settings. Tap keep if you want to keep this card at its current interval. And finally, tap easy if you want to graduate this card to the next interval and review it less frequently. The text at the top of the buttons show what the interval is corresponding to that option. One thing to quickly note, the app uses column F in your spreadsheet file to store the space repetition study data. So don't edit that column if you want to keep track of your flashcards. Finally, let's talk about how to show images in the app. For this, you will need to download the Flashcard Lab Google Sheets add-on, which is meant to be used on the computer. The add-on provides a way to upload images to the spreadsheet. To do so, click Edit Flashcards. Select the card you want to add an image to, Upload an image from the web or your computer. And save. Now when I open back up the Flashcard Lab mobile app, the image can be reviewed during testing. I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Try the Flashcard Lab mobile app and Google Sheets add-on for free with the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.